For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beginner's mining turtle work and do a 3x2 tunnel, which is the same as a regular mining turtle. Now, the best thing about this beginner mining turtle one is that you can control every move it does and it has a lot more options. The reason why this one is made is because, well, it's in the name, it's Beginner's Mining Turtle. It has a drag and drop system which has all the coding in those blocks. So instead of you having to type what the commands are, you know, like turn left, go up, dig, and all that stuff, you can just quite easily just drag in some blocks to tell it what to do. Now, first of all, you need a remote control. Without this, you cannot look inside of it. If I place it down and show you really quick. So I'm just gonna make mine ready like this. If I place it down, you can see that I cannot open it up even if I try. It's really simple to make this. If you look in the crafting guide on the side in uh, survival, once you've got the turtle remote, you can just right click and it will appear in your inventory at the bottom here. Now you can control every turtle you want with that remote. If you die, you will lose it and you'll have to make another one or just equip it again. Go over to the program in here. We can save ours here. This is the different saves you have. After you saved your program, you've got a choice at the end of it or you can do it now. You can copy to disk, which will give you a disk in your inventory. For the first command, we want the mining turtle to be in a loop where it will repeat the certain steps. If it's mining, it will just keep going forever until you stop it. Now, if you're good at programming, you would know the right sort of stuff you can do so you can tell it to go a hundred blocks out and then stop or you can pretty much tell it what you want but i'm not that advanced yet i will probably make more videos in the future explaining how to do that but in this video i'm just going to tell you what i know so far just click on here to add statement the first one is a while because we are going to make a uh, while loop which next we will need while true then do these certain steps. So the very first one is dig. You just want a regular dig. You want it to move forward. You just got to think of how you want the turtle or what you want the turtle to do. It's kind of hard at first, but you'll get used to it. You can even tab out of this and look at it the way, you know, a turtle would see it. So, so far we have the turtle here. It will dig the block in front of it. It will move forward we need it to now either go left or right. I'm gonna, I like to make mine go left, up, then go that way. We want to add the next one, which is turn left. Then we need it to dig again, just a regular one, move forward, turn right. And I think we need it to also then dig up, which is this one and then the dig up. So it digs the block above it. Next is to then move up, turn right. Then we are gonna go for dig again, move forward. So far we are at, so dig up, move forward. Now, right now we are in the middle of it. We need it to dig one more time, move forward, turn left, then dig wait actually that's the wrong one um dig down move down turn left and then move forward turn right and then is back to the first step that's pretty much it we've done our little program that does a three by two tunnel now we just need a end one we need a and command we've done that's how easy it is if you wanted yours to dig more you can just keep replacing these and add more there's other ways of doing it there's quite a lot of commands in here you can use right now I've not been that good at programming I wanted to make mine do a check so if there was no block there it will carry on doing it but I'm not quite sure how to do that yet but like I said, I'll do a video in the future if I find out to let you know. Yeah, that's the only problem with these turtles right now is I don't know how to make them carry on when they don't have a block in front of them. They'll stop, so you have to keep making them going 
and um, another problem is if it reaches gravel it will also stop because the same block will appear twice if it falls down and it wouldn't know what to do. Now we're just going to quickly make this program run. I am not 100% sure but I think you also need coal. Correct me if I'm wrong, just leave a comment down below and tell me if I'm wrong but I always use coal. Top left corner, add that there. Now just go on the remote and run program. In a program you can actually see it working as it goes by itself. So as you can see we have our little program running and that is what we wanted it to do they get a three by two tunnel and it will just keep collecting all your items they will be in here if it's full it will just drop them on the floor but you can actually program it to empty itself into a chest but like i keep saying i'll uh find out in future episodes hopefully if i know how to do it Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to stick around because I'll be making more Tekka tutorials and I will see you in my next video. Bye.